welcome back to another video and hello if you're new um i'm leona and i have a service dog in training named athena and i semi-retired slash part-time service dog named aries he's laying up here behind me i don't know if you guys can see him um but anyways today i'm gonna go ahead and just do a video on what i am bringing for my service dog for college um i'm taking athena with me and only athena um this has definitely changed a lot from last year mostly just because i've figured out what i need and what i don't need kind of thing um and last year i definitely kind of overpacked <laughs> just because i had absolutely no idea um but yeah so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get into the video so starting off i just have this pink like crate container thing um with all of athena's toys in them so you can see this I think it's really important to bring quite a few toys for your dog just to like keep them entertained. Athena is still very much a puppy. She's not even a year old yet. So I want to like make sure I have a good amount. A lot of these I have like puzzle toys. I have like her frisbee. Um, I've got tennis balls in here, that kind of stuff. And some of this is going to be put up where she can't play with it like just in the dorm. And then others things are going to be staying down where she can. Um, stuff that's going up where she can't just play with it on her own are like balls, um, her frisbee, kongs, puzzle toys, that kind of stuff. But it's important to have and this is just good for transportation. But yeah, that kind of thing. Um, another big thing I'm bringing is her big, like I think it's a 50 pound holder um, for her food. Um, so I'm on the other side of campus than I was last year, which means I'm uphill on the other side way from the post office so athena goes through about 16 pounds of food a month so getting the 50 pound container means that we'll be set for almost the whole semester if not the full semester depending on when we come home and that kind of stuff um so she is able to like i don't have to like cart food all the way across campus because i physically can't um and this way if i need any food or anything then she, like my grandma can bring it up when she comes to visit or I can like come home and when I go home, like go back to campus, then I can just have it like in the car and I just have to like bring it upstairs to my room, um, that kind of thing. Anyways, another big thing I got is this big cart roller thing. Um, so yeah, it's just one of these like four tier carts. It's got like basket, um, but this is going to be for like her gear or like storage stuff for her, that kind of thing. And there may end up being some of my stuff on there. But I've seen a lot of people suggest it and I had debated it last year and ended up not getting one. And I decided for this year I'd like it for storage purposes. So I just went ahead and bought it. Um, it's not the standard cart like you see a lot of people get, but it is a cart that works. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I also have this big container. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually take this exact one, but I'm going to be taking a container like this for their cookie or for her like cookie type treats. Um, I really enjoy giving these to her when she like comes in from going outside, that kind of stuff, just as a reward to continuously reinforce that going outside means you get rewarded and it's a good thing just because of the fact that she's still a puppy and still learning and everything else and I want to make sure that she grasps that yes this is a new place and that means that you have to continue with these behaviors. Um, I've actually had her, she's never had an accident with me and I've had her since about four months. Um, so that's like crazy good um, but it's still just a want to reinforce and make sure she understands kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and move into everything I have packed in this bin, um, and it's a lot. So I'm going to start off with, like, just what I have on top and then work my way down. Um, I figured I needed to go ahead and get this video done, so yeah. Um, on the food front, I actually have just some wet food. Um, this is, like, the Purina One True Instinct, like, Tender Cuts. It's a six-pack. I don't know if I'm going to take this exact wet food, um... Or if I'm gonna get something else but every once in a while I like to like if she's had a longer day or if she's just been doing really good or something like that I like to like mix it in with her food or do it like once a week ish um, just because I think it's a really nice reward I think that my dog deserves a reward so yeah I just like to bring some up to have it 
Another thing I like is this Arm & Hammer Fresh Spectrum. It's like breath drops. You just like spray it straight into their mouth. I got it at Petco um, and it really helps. I mean, at least I think it really helps with the odor that comes with dog breath. But yeah. All right. So and the thing that I'm bringing is my patch board. I just kept all my patches on here and like folded it up and then put it in for packing because that's easy and I'm just gonna take it back out and like hang it up in my dorm kind of thing so I don't want to like take all my patches off and have to like reorganize it um so yeah next I'm just bringing a plane this is like a six foot nylon leash um I like to bring these just for like walks in the dorm um just so that we have them because I don't really want to leave her off leash um, not that I don't trust her, I trust her fully, but it's a, I don't trust other people, and I don't trust there not to be, like, a dumb driver or something like that, so, yeah. Anyways, just a plain, like, six-foot nylon leash. Um, I'm also going to be bringing this No Rinse Waterless Shampoo. It's from Wall. It's the lavender, like, lavender and chamomile scent. I've had this for a while. I need to get, like, a new bottle off Amazon, I think is where I can get it. But this is just nice in between baths. Um, she really doesn't need baths super often, and the only way that I can give her one on campus is either coming home or taking her to Tractor Supply, where I have to pay like 10 bucks to bathe her. Um, so I really don't want to have to be doing that like every time she gets like a slight odor. So just having like some waterless shampoo and deodorizing spray and that kind of stuff really helps. Um, I just kind of make between baths last longer. Um, so yeah. Next, I'm going to be bringing her slicker brush. This is also just from Target. Um, I like it a lot. It works great. I mean, yeah, kind of self-explanatory. Um, I'm also bringing just this light-up collar, which I showed in one of my other videos, but it has this, like, study thing, and then it has a flashing, which I'm not going to show on camera because I don't want to send anybody into an episode. Um, but yeah, this is just really good for around campus. Um, with like daylight savings time and everything else you don't know when you're gonna be out um I'm also gonna be bringing a couple of extra like flat collars um as well as this blue light up collar um which we've had for a while it's Aries's old one um but I decided it would just be nice to have two just to be safe in case like one runs out of battery or something um so these are just extra flat collars um I think I have one more in here somewhere but they're each for like specific sets so I like everything to be matching and yeah as you can see like I have a leash strap on this one um and as I said I like things to be matching so I just have those as backup um I'm also going to be bringing some bandanas so these are all from Wix and Whimsies um I've just got this like purple and red like plaid I have this one that we got for Christmas for Aries but my grandparents don't really like dress him up so yeah it's purple also I got this one that's like red and green uh, with like some purple so it's gonna be really pretty for um like Christmas and then I have this flower one that was Bell's but as I said my grandparents really don't dress up the dogs and I like to so I'm taking them with me um okay this is another flat collar it's just this pink one with like a flower and then it has a resin tag that I made um so yeah just another thing that matches this set and makes me happy to have um, I'm also bringing med bag, but basically, yeah, this is all gear, so I'm not going to be going through, or a lot of this is gear, so I'm not going through everything because I have a gear video that has, like, all of my gear in it, and I'd rather you guys just see that, but basically, I just bring up, like, full sets, um, of stuff that I really like so that I have, like, a variety because I like to change up what my dogs wear, well, what she wears now, and... I figured out like what I used last year so there's some things staying here and there's some things going with me and all that kind of stuff um anyways I'm also bringing my star mark um just just like a plastic prong um I like to have this just as like a um there to be there kind of thing <laughs> um there's no other way to describe it but sometimes she doesn't need a prong sometimes she doesn't need that even she just needs like her flat um, but I like to have it if there's, like, a day that I want to do training with it or I don't feel like using her prong or, yeah, that kind of stuff. Anyways, um, I'm also bringing this big container of chicken feet because, as I've said, chews are important to me. Um, I think they're really essential for dogs, um, all that kind of stuff. 
along with that i got two things of real dog box for before we or for at campus that was their july box i think it is um so we just have like a stockpile of chews now as well as some of their treats um so this box had beef trachea pig skin and duck feet for the chews and then it had beef liver chicken heart and smelt for the treats i only or pork liver sorry i only have the pork liver in here open because i left the chicken heart or one bo bag of chicken hearts and one bag of smelt out to use with Aries and Belle also because I don't know if I'm going to use that many treats with Thena because there's a ton in there and I don't give these all the time. I use them kind of sparingly. Um, so yeah. Anyways, along with that, I have a small stockpile of training treats, which I will kind of get to because a lot of them are under here. Um, anyways, I got these, like, American Journey grain-free oven-baked dog treats. They're, like, peanut butter flavored. Um, I've heard a lot of people say they're good. I mean, obviously they're not, like, training treats and it's not a gift to them all the time just because it's a lot of wheats. Um, or, like, yeah, that kind of stuff. So I don't want to, but, like, as I said, every once in a while I like to give my dog cookie-type treats, um, like, when she comes in from going outside that kind of stuff so yeah these ones were good as far as um ingredients um i also got these dentley's like rawhide free retriever rolls um these are another thing that i've heard like quite a few people say are decent like for giving them every once in a while um my big thing is i really trust real dog box and their chews but i don't have the money to spend and get like four like chew boxes and I don't really want to because that's a lot and yeah anyways it's a lot to store so I like to have other chews to kind of like put in so I like to get like rawhide free good treats um so yeah anyways these are ones that are good for like everyone's style as a you know slightly longer lasting thing um that I can give in between giving the natural treats from the other box. Anyways, next, as I said, I just have like a stockpile of training treats in here. So I got a bunch of Bill Jacks. I got these like the Gooberlicious like peanut butter flavor. Um, I got two things of the peanut butter and banana because all of my dogs like these and I have no problem getting them because they're good. I got some natural balance mini rewards um these are the duck formula so yeah i got like two things of those i got a thing of the nulo trainers these are the salmon recipe and then i also got a thing of the turkey recipe of those um i got a thing of the blue wilderness trail treats the wild bites like chicken recipe um because i've heard a lot of good things then I got some more of the Soft Puppy Bites by Wellness. These are the Lamb and Salmon. She really likes these. We're trying to kind of transition away from using only puppy treats, but they're nice to have every once in a while. Also, they're like a bit softer and bigger for like I cut my training treats. So yeah, that kind of thing. And then I got quite a few of the Zooks. So I have a peanut butter and oats recipe. I got a chicken. I got salmon. I have another peanut butter and oats and a rabbit. So yeah, small stockpile. Um, a lot of this is, as I said, I just don't want to be walking across campus with packages. It's also a case of I don't drive. So if I need to go anywhere, I have to ask a friend. So I have to like ask Michael, if you don't know, that's my boyfriend or like one of my close friends who is staying off campus. So she'd have to like pick me up on campus and then we'd have to go places and that's just a lot to do and I feel bad asking anybody to take me somewhere to like get dog stuff specifically so I try to like have enough to last me a good amount of time um I also got these Simply Nourish soft chews they're chicken and cheese and then bacon and cheese um I had heard some good things about them, so I figured I'd give them a try, and these I figured would be really good for just, like, cutting and using as some training treats, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. It may be a case if I end up not using it all the way, but yeah, who knows. Um, I also ordered these, like, collapsible water bowl things, or water 
container thing so that you like fill it up through here and it like expands and it can just like hold water and then as you empty it it can collapse down so it's really nice for travel like if we do any like trail walking or like just around campus even um just for the storage purposes it came in a three pack i only have two in here um because the third one we've been using every once in a while um so yeah i just got those off of amazon i think it is so yeah um this is our other real dog box um as i said it's got the same things that were over here so it's just got the trachea the pork liver and then as i said the chicken hearts and the smelt um so that's those yeah if you guys want me to do a review on real dog box at all let me know because I've been with them for over a year now and honestly I love their products I always recommend them but if you guys want like an unboxing and in-depth review then let me know and I'll try and get one up like ASAP um so yeah anyways as I said I have all of our gear um just extra leashes um these each go with specific sets so this one is like for one set this one's for a set this one's for a set and then like this one's a set um this one's actually not in our gear video because we just got it and i forgot to do an unboxing but it's just this like service b with a little b um right there there it's from sweatco i got it in like her premium sale that she had which as i said before i highly recommend sweatco if you're looking for anywhere to get stuff or if you're in canada and trying to find a canadian shop go to sweatco um anyways then more gear so we just have like our Apollo 09, this is the port version, and I have like our pink and gray patches, and then the Yep set, which has a Sun Paco pull strap to match. Um, yeah, um, our cooling coat, of course, um, service Pepsi Carnis, because we love to use it. It's our go to, the Savvy Shepherd Co., which I have in a couple of videos. Um, yep, just some more stuff pull strap that I've shown, Atomic Hound pull strap, and then the Savvy Shepherd Co. Traffic Lead I haven't shown, but it's just gray with like black, or not Savvy Shepherd Co., Sun Paco, gray with like black hardware. Um, I then have this Savvy Shepherd Co. harness that you guys haven't seen, but it's just yellow with their silver um, webbing, and it says Working Bee on the side, and then it has this um, So What Co. Meta, like, whatchamacallit, medical bag that says medication inside and it has like a little bead on the cross and yeah, just really like it. Anyways, all right, from there I have some of our grooming stuff. So I just have this lavender and chamomile from Wall Shampoo. I just got it at I think Target. Um, so this is if I decide to give her like a small cup bath or something, like if she gets muddy or into something, then like it's really good to just be able to have something to bathe her in my room. Um, I also got this 3-in-1 detangler odor control and conditioner um, with aloe spray stuff. I think I got it at like Petco, maybe PetSmart, I don't know, but she's getting more of a coat, so having that is really important. Um, I also have our Dremel, of course. Um, then I have this Burt's Bees for dogs paw and nose lotion, which is rosemary and olive oil. Um, it, works really nice to help keep her paws soft. I then have our styptic powder just in case I catch her quick with our nail clippers. And then I have some paw wipes. Um, so I still have these gentle and tearless puppy wipes. They're vanilla, milk, and honey. I got them on clearance at PetSmart I think like last year and we still have some so I'm not gonna like throw it away because they're still wet and still work. And then I have this wall lavender and chamomile again just paw or wipes that I got at Target, I believe, also, and I know you can get them on Amazon. Um, along with that, just some things I'm also going to be bringing are, like, our treat bag, our prong, our other Yep set, which I can actually, like, grab. So this set, which is our Crystal Clear Creations Black Traffic Lead, um, Atomic Hound Collar with a Lucky Dog Ear Wrap, and this harness. Um, we also have a guide handle coming for it, and it has, like, this, um, so what co? tab on it that I haven't decided if it's going to stay or not but for now and then our service dog in training bandana that's just nice to have to keep her marked as in training um so anyways that as I said our treat bag prong e-collar 
Um, I'm going to be bringing her boots, obviously. Just don't have them packed because we have one more trip to do out to get some more stuff for myself. Um, as well as a couple more like cookie type treats because as I said, I don't know if I'm going to bring that big container or if it's going to stay here for the other two. But if it comes with me, then we need some more for the other two. And if it stays here, then I need some for her. But yeah, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to bring our flirt pole. I'm obviously bringing her um, slow feeder and then I'm bringing a bowl mat. It's a big like bone one. I showed it in last year's service dog gear haul. So or not gear haul dorm haul so if you're like looking for it and want to see i just got it off amazon i'm not sure if they still have it available but you can find it on there um and yeah as far as like as i said i think that's everything i definitely am packing a lot less this year than i did last year for her um just because i figured out what i need what i don't need that kind of stuff um so yeah also i'm still bringing like poop bags you know kind of just basic stuff as I said that's part of why I didn't go through all my gear because that's kind of a given um but yeah like ear cleaner and cotton balls for her ears and first aid is as I said an essential which I had in my service dog essentials on co a college campus like video um poop bags all that kind of stuff so anyways if you guys have any questions leave them down below if you have any video requests also leave them down below um so yeah, anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and bye.